So millions of voters are heading to the polls tomorrow. Right, and the National Election Commission forecasts a high voter turnout of 60%, which is up 6% from the last local elections four years ago. So uh, what are we expecting to see tomorrow and how the voter turnout will impact the outcome of the elections? Uh, of course, to tell us more, Chi Byung Gil is uh, joining us in the studio. So. Uh, how tell us how the candidates spent their last day of their campaigning? Well, Terry, remember how I've been reporting on how this year's elections have especially been toned down due to right. the Seoul affair accident, right? Mm -hmm. So rival parties are making the most of their last-minute efforts to pull in as many votes as they can. They continued with what they've been doing for the last two weeks, shaking hands and take, talking with the people at subway stations and traditional markets. And they don't have much time left now, so the official campaign period ends at midnight Tuesday, which is just about two hours from now. And tomorrow, Koreans will head to the polls between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. to select nearly 4,000 local administrative and legislative officials. So last Friday and Saturday, we saw a local ele uh, the local elections um, institute the early voting system, and there was a very high turnout for that. How is that ex expected to affect the overall results? Well, Sean, the analysts are actually divided on that question, and Professor Hang Yu's hub of Seoul National University said it could go both ways. So we don't really know what it means. I mean, it, it could possibly mean that uh, people who uh, probably wouldn't have voted, may have actually uh, turned out. Uh, or it could just be the people, the same people um, who would have voted any, anyway, uh, even without this early vote. But he did say it is likely that the young people will be supporting the opposition party and the older generation voting for the conservative ruling party. Now, we of course have to go back to the April ferry disaster and its a potential impact on the elections. And uh, that's probably why we're hearing terms like angry mom, because they're expected to be quite angry or frustrated with the government's handling of the disaster with so many students dead, right? Yeah, that's right. Experts say last month's ferry disaster has definitely affected public sentiment and that the election will be seen as a referendum on this incumbent government. Voter turnout and public sentiment among parents in their 40s are expected to be key factors in determining election results. So anyone who's an incumbent and as anyone who's running as a, as a uh, you know, nominee of the opposition party, they'll have a certain advantage because of the disaster. Now it has truly become uh, sort of a midterm evaluation of the present park's uh, performance in the past year and a half. Well, speaking of this poll as being a referendum of the Park administration or the Conservative Party, there are two conservative strongholds that are actually being challenged by some of the opposition or independent candidates. Yes, that's right. Political analysts say the independent candidates are getting support because the two cities feel the need to implement a sort of a system of checks and balances. So the people of Busan, you know, they've been electing the uh, Senuri candidate in every presidential election in the past, and they feel as if that even uh, despite their uh, consistent support, the, uh, the presidents in the past, from the Senri party haven't really done enough for their region. And also pretty much the same thing in, in Gwangju. However, in the city of Gwangju, voters are upset that MPAD co-leader An Chol Su decided to nominate Yoon Jang Hyun as his party's candidate without holding primaries. I see. Now let's uh, recap the latest polls that we got. Uh, tell us about some of the most contested regions. Yes, if we take a look, according to the most recent opinion polling from last week, the ruling Senri party had the upper hand in six regions, while the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy held strong in five regions and in four other regions the rival party candidates were neck and neck independent candidates are running close with their counterparts in the city of Busan and Gwangju so where are the most important battlegrounds well according to the latest polls that were released on May 28th Seoul Incheon and Gyeonggi-do province are the key battlegrounds since they hold half of Korea's total population and are seen as a stepping stone to the presidential ticket Incumbent Seoul Mayor Pa Won Soon held a comfortable lead by more than 18 percentage points against his Henry Party rival Chung Mong Jun. 
In the port city of Incheon, incumbent mayor Song Yong-gil was in a dead heat with his conservative, conservative counterpart Yu Jung-bok with only a 3.2 percentage point difference. For the governor's seat in Gyeonggi-do province, the Saenuri Party's Nam Gyeong-pil held a slight lead with 36 percent, while Kim Jin-pyo of the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy was at 34.7 percent. In the ruling party's stronghold of Busan, independent Oh go was neck and neck with the Saenuri Party candidate Seo Byung-su. And the Liberals' power-based city of Gwangju, independent Kang Un tae trailed behind the MPAD's Yoon Jang-hyun by 1.1 percentage points. In the two Chungcheong-do provinces, which are known to be swing regions, the MPAD's An Hee-jung and Yi Shi-jung were last seen pulling ahead their ruling party rivals for governor posts. I see now. Well, it's tomorrow, and uh, we'll uh, be watching uh, this very closely. Not only watching, we'll be working very hard and covering this uh, elections, of course, right here on Arirang TV. Shin Byung-gil there, uh, thank you so much for that report. Sure.